What's up guys, welcome to Superwise, I'm John, and this is interesting news that I think we need to talk about. Now, obviously yesterday we got that huge exclusive news right from The Hollywood Reporter that the Batgirl movie is now officially moving forward with the Bad Boys for Life directors, which I'm super happy about. They're awesome. We also learned that this film is going straight to HBO Max. But one thing on a lot of fans' minds that we don't know about is which universe is this Batgirl movie set in. Could be set in the main DCEU with Ben Affleck's Batman, could be set in the Matt Reeves Batman world, or it could just be an entirely new alternate universe. Well, I think we may know what universe this movie is set in. And it's reportedly set in the Matt Reeves, Robert Pattinson universe. Now, the news that this Batgirl movie is being set in the Pattinson world came to us from Forbes, a very reputable business source, back in 2019. Now, keep in mind, this was when Joss Whedon was still attached to the project. Things have changed. It's been quite a while since 2019, so this Batgirl movie could have been rewritten to be just in an alternate universe, not in the Battinson timeline. But in 2019, it was reportedly the plan for this Batgirl movie to be set in the Matt Reeves universe. So what do I think about this Batgirl movie being potentially set in the Battinson universe? I think it's a very cool idea. I think it'd be great for her to be in that world. First, if this Batgirl is set in the Battinson world, that means you're going to have to have a black actress play the role because Jeffrey Wright is playing Jim Gordon in that universe. I think that's damn good casting. Unfortunately, that means Anya Taylor-Joy or Karen Gillan those fan castings won't happen. I like those choices. Unless you do like an adopted storyline where Jeffrey Wright adopts Barbara Gordon, maybe, I don't know, but most likely they're going to have to cast a black actress. You know, get a good actress, give her red hair, get the personality right, and just write an overall good, likable character, and we're good. But the very idea of a Batgirl existing within the Robert Pattinson universe I think is so cool and I'd like to see it happen because I want to see the Bat family. I want to see Robert Pattinson interact with other members of the Bat family, have that sort of dynamic. I like that, you know, in this Batgirl movie, I don't want Robert Pattinson to be in it. I want him to be acknowledged as Batman in that universe, but I want that relationship to be built up. Like, we acknowledge he exists in this world, I'm going to become Batgirl, and then we're eventually going to meet. I want Robert Pattinson to be well-established as a character first before he meets any Bat family members. Like, once Pattinson is established, yeah, let's have a Bat family cinematic universe. I want to see Robin. I want to see Nightwing. I want to see Batgirl. I want to see that relationship, that friendship. I think that'd be really cool. Alongside that the set photos also confirm Superman and Wonder Woman exist in this universe. So this truly could be the new cinematic universe, but I want everything to be not rushed, you know, developed well. You know, this Batgirl movie, I hope it has the same style as the Robert Pattinson Batman movies. So we acknowledge and know it exists in this world. You can have a goofier, sort of sillier tone because it's Batgirl. But as long as it's stylistically similar, we're cool. I just like the idea of the Bat family. And I like how this is set in Matt Reeves' universe, but he's not handling all the movies within this universe. It could be overbearing, and it's cool to see other directors, you know, execute their vision within his universe. So that's cool. But let me know in the comments down below, are you excited for this Batgirl movie? Do you want to see it in the Robert Pattinson universe or in the DCEU? Let me know in the comments down below. 
Please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't subbed already. I'd love to have you here. You'd be supporting the Superwise family. it means mean a great deal. Almost to 400, guys. Almost there. So subscribe. That'll be all for me. And remember my catchphrase, guys. Stay Superwise.